welcome to another episode of Bloom Masters TV. Remember, you can always go to our website at bloommasters.com to get other videos and great information on bedding plants in the southeast. And you can also go to our YouTube channel for other more informative videos. Today, we're going to be talking all about pansies and violas. Technically, pansies came from violas, from viola tricolor. So, if you think about it this way, all pansies are actually a type of viola. But all violas are not a type of pansy. So today we're going to tell you the difference between the two. Violas and pansies have been around for a long time. They come from the northern hemisphere primarily, from Hawaii and Australia. There have been a few uh, recordings of them being from South America, from the Andes and places like that, but most of them came from North America. Pansies and violas have a lot of similarities, but they do have a few differences. Violas can take a little bit more shade than pansies can. So if you're ever in a situation where you're trying to choose between these two and it isn't full sun, you're gonna have a little bit more success with violas. They also are a little bit better with heat for the most part. So just kind of thinking about those two options when you're selecting these plants. Another thing to remember about these plants is that the bloom size is what most people understand is the difference between the two of them. So if you can look at my two examples here. Over here I have violas. You have a much smaller bloom, but a lot more blooms per plant. Um, pretty much similar coloration between the two plants. The real difference is smaller blooms, but a lot more blooms versus if you come over here to pansies, you can see much larger blooms, but much fewer blooms per plant. So something you can look at here, if you look up close here, is the blooms. Pansy, viola blooms have three petals up and two petals down versus if you come over here to a pansy bloom, you can see that it is four petals up and one down. So pansies have four up, one down. Violas have three up, two down. A little history on these plants. The word pansy actually comes from a French word meaning thought versus viola actually came from an origin meaning modesty. So a little bit something there, and also a very rich history in Europe especially. Pansies were actually used on King Arthur's Knights of the Round Table. The knights would pick up a pansy bloom and pick it off the plant, and they would then read that like getting your palm read. If the pansy bloom had lines through it, four lines specifically, that could be a troubling sign. But if those lines lean to the left, that was very troubling and meant that that knight probably wouldn't have a long life. If those lines lean to the right, well then that knight would have prosperity. Um, this also goes back to the legends of Cupid and mythology. Pansies were originally thought to just have white blooms until Cupid accidentally shot his arrow through the bloom of a pansy and at that point yellows and purples started showing up in pansies. Also, uh, those of you who've seen Alice in Wonderland probably remember Alice with the singing pansies in the background. Uh, lots of states and cities and counties use the pansy as their official flower, organizations, uh, different types of things like that too. So the pansies and violas are used everywhere. Uh, food especially. It's kind of how these flowers started as food. Uh, they can be used in salads. They can be used um, in desserts. They can be used, they can be steeped, and uh, tea is made out of them in some places also. So a lot of different uses for them away from the garden, but what we want to focus on today is the landscape. So we already discussed the bloom size. We already discussed that viola is like a little bit more, can take a little bit more shade than pansies. One main difference between these two, especially here in the southeast, is the resistance to botrytis. Now, I'm going to show you what botrytis is if you want to zoom in here. Botrytis occurs when we have rainy and misty and foggy mornings. I'm sure you've seen this. Here's some pansies with botrytis. You see the blooms have all collapsed. They actually have botrytis spores on them, little fuzzy spores. And then over here, the petunias, you can really see in here that there's spores, these white spores all over these collapsed blooms. So. This is something that we call botrytis. This occurs when we have misty, rainy, or foggy weather and kind of warmer temps. Now, the difference is pansies get this really easily. 
violas do not. Has to do with the bloom size. Botrytis really affects these blooms when the blooms lay and touch the foliage. On a pansy, you have that big bloom, so when it gets misted on or heavy with fog and dew, it lays down on the plant, that's where the botrytis spores start, then it just collapses the bloom. Violas have a much smaller bloom, stands upright. When those blooms get heavy, they don't lay down on the foliage. They still stand up above the foliage. You will see a little bit of botrytis in your violas if you have a morning like that, but it will be a fraction compared to what the pansies get. So, more shade, the violas win. Less botrytis, the violas win. Bigger flowers, the pansy wins. So, it's really up to you, but the two things these flowers don't like are hot and wet conditions. So, hot and wet, this is a terrible choice for your landscape. Uh, in the southeast, during the winter time, we don't always have a lot of cold, so even during January and February, if we're getting mid 80s and a lot of rain, you're gonna see issues with these plants. These are a true cool weather plant. So other than that, there is no maintenance on these. Plant them in the right spot, don't let them get too wet, and make sure that if you do have botrytis, you can spray, but three days of sunshine will do the exact same thing. It'll clear that botrytis right up. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a little bit about pansies and violas and the difference. And if you want any more information, remember always go to our website and you can get all this information and more fun facts at bloommasters.com. Thank you.